I've had a good week or a good start to the weekend so far. I meant to do a weekend forecast last night, but uh, some things kind of descended into chaos at the house. So we're going to try it again this morning. Things are pretty quiet, so I think we're, we should be fine here. So let's go ahead and talk about the first elephant, the main elephant in the room, and that's going to be the severe weather for tonight. Also, just in case you might have noticed, there's a day seven severe threat. I will talk about that a little later today. But we're mainly focusing on the weekend right now. And maybe we'll talk about Halloween. We might do that either. We'll probably do that tomorrow morning, actually. But anyway, do have a severe weather threat here. Slight risk for the uh, Gulf Coast here. Gulf Coast areas around uh, Baton Rouge and uh, Bat and uh, Mobile, Biloxi, you guys. We're watching you closely for the threat of damaging winds and tornadoes. And New Orleans as well, I haven't forgotten you guys. So the main threat here, of course, like I said, there is a tornado threat. A couple tornadoes are possible. And we also have an increased damaging wind threat. The hail threat really isn't there. This isn't a super impressive storm as far as the uh, features are concerned here. Temperatures are going to be sufficient enough uh, yeah, sufficient enough alongside um, a strong low-level jet with uh, sufficient dew points as well. We'll talk a little bit about that, and then we'll also talk about the rest of the areas around, uh, around the country that could be affected by some rain today as well. So it shouldn't be a long video here. Maybe I'll estimate... 12 minutes at maximum here. So we'll go ahead and start by taking a look at some parameters here. We'll look at the surface base cape. And I, like I said, it's not the highest values I've ever seen, but they are definitely sufficient enough. Particularly around New Orleans is where I'm getting the most, where I'm getting the, the highest readings. Kind of meanders a little bit around areas like Biloxi, but once we get the mobile, I think the threat starts to diminish. And really after that, there's nothing really going on either Sunday or Monday. If anything, we're just going to get more or less just rain. And it's just going to kind of ruin some people's Sunday and maybe ruin some uh, some people's Halloween plans. But beyond that, it's really nothing, really nothing serious. Today is only the main day. It's like the main day that I'm focused on. So we'll go ahead now and take a look at the low-level jet here. Is this will open up. Oh, boy. So now that we're uh, on this map finally, we can uh, start to talk about what's going on here. Sorry about that, y'all. My computer is absolutely just gone pretty much at this point. It's going to be a while before I can get a new one. But uh, so what's going on here in particular is there is a jet stream in. The jet stream goes into many different levels of the atmosphere and towards the 507 millibar, 700 millibar region. Uh, this storm system is kind of unraveling, it's starting to weaken a bit. But this is actually going to influence this low level jet here. And you can see those higher values is indicated in the purple here, where uh, we're getting some strengthening going on and we're starting to get even a little bit of red. So we're getting towards the uh, 55 to 60 knot region, more than sufficient enough for severe thunderstorm development, even a few tornadoes. So I'm mainly watching towards the south eastern side of this feature in particular. Move this along here and then this, this gets kicked out to the north. This will increase the uh, damaging wind threat as well. And then by Sunday, this really just starts to fall apart and out this system goes. So that's the main feature we're dealing with there. But beyond that, there's not a whole lot going on. It should be pretty calm leading up and going into and pretty much going through Halloween. Like I said, it's really towards uh, maybe the first three days in November, after the uh, first three days in November when things start to get a little bit more active again. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at the uh, national picture as a whole now. So we'll start out with the temperature here. Around this region, we're expecting, around the severe weather region, we're going to be spe expecting uh, 70 degree temps for highs today, maybe even a few 80s and a couple isolated, in a couple spots possibly. But 
the rest of the country is looking pretty comfortable. Even the desert southwest is only uh, hitting hitting up to about maybe 80. Ouch. That was my hand. You just heard pop, by the way. But even the desert southwest is only getting up to about 80, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure that they're happy that it's in the 80s, not the 90s anymore. Uh, we're not really super cold any in any part of the country to be honest even towards even out west uh, we're all I would say that we're actually above average and then over towards the uh, middle of the country we got a few areas where we're hitting 70 but a lot of places are gonna be in 60 some places even in the 50s which is really nice the same can be said for the rest of the eastern seaboard so all in all for most people it's gonna be pretty comfortable Unless you're getting rain, then it's going to be kind of, eh. The lows tomorrow are, I mean, the west looks like it's going to be a little bit cooler than the east, of course, but that's because of our negative PNA. And then over towards the east, looks like we don't really get too warm tomorrow either. And then we'll get, start to take a little bit of a peek into Halloween here. It looks like the uh, west starting to cool down again. East is getting a little bit warmer. We're starting to get more and more 70s, maybe even a few 80s sneaking in here and there. But beyond that, not too much going on. Let's go ahead and finally take a look at what the radar could look like over the weekend. We'll just put this in a little bit of a loop here just to keep the ball rolling. All right, I hit the start button a little bit. I hit the play button a little bit too quickly move this along here here's our severe weather threat and then it just kind of turns into just a just a rainy type situation for the south and east throughout the day tomorrow doesn't look like a lot of coverage then our next storm system may come in on halloween maybe ruining trick-or-treating for everyone out here in the northwest but beyond that not much going on here it's going to be a pretty quiet weekend out, unless you're in the gulf coast states really but that's pretty much all i got for you guys on this video here if you like what I did here, definitely drop me a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about the weather this weekend. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll have a video for you guys this evening now, for sure. This has been Tiger Metalhead Weatherman. I will see you guys in the next one.